Okay, to kick off the summer, just like they do at the libraries, they start out with a summer reading program. Ours is going to be a little different today, but I'll let Mark Kinzer take away, take away and, and go ahead, go at it, Mark. Thanks. All right, so I've titled this lesson, My Favorite Bridge Books. Uh, consider it, this is your summer reading list, since I might not be back till fall, and I'm going to expect you to have covered uh, bought at least one bridge book and read it to completion by the end of the summer. Book and reports? <laughs> no book reports required, but I'll see it at the table in, in progress. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. <laughs> so I have, I think, I didn't count them actually, but at least 30 bridge books. I typically bought them four or five at a time. Um, there's a particular website called Baron Barclay, and I'll have that on the final slide as to how to find it, uh, where they had, if you spend $50 or more on bridge books, you get 20% off or something like that. And I don't know if they still have that sort of deal, but it's, I like supporting them. Even today, I would support them over buying it from Amazon, say. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm kind of categorizing bridge books into six flavors, uh, obviously declare play and defense, bidding systems, bidding judgment, competitive bidding, uh, and humor and fiction. That's the most fun category, so I'm saving it till last. Next slide, please. Okay, declare a play. You know, I, I read someplace that there's this particular book by this guy named Lewis Watson. It's just the best book on declare a play ever written. Bought it, looked at the copyright date, it was 1930. Turns out that not a whole lot has changed since 1930 in terms of technique <laughs> play the hand. And this is a very complete, very well written uh, bridge book. It, it has uh, everything you'll ever need. It's, you know, kind of thick, kind of dense, but uh, pretty easy to read. I mean, obviously there's, there's um, subsets of that and there's lots and lots of books on, uh, on Declare a Play. But I'm saying if you, if you just want one book and it's just very thorough, very complete. Uh, that one's just fine. Uh, okay, if you insist on another one, though, my, my very good friend, Mike uh, Selkert, met, recommended Bridge Squeeze is Complete by Clyde Love. I don't actually recommend that one <laughs> based on first-hand uh, knowledge, but... Uh, yeah, that one's, that one's a little rough. Um, <laughs> that one's, I, I, I have no doubt that it's... I mean, yeah. there's, there's a guy named Giza Otlick who wrote the single hardest bridge book, the single most uh, <laughs> complex bridge book. It, the very first chapter is titled Battle Rush <laughs> Squeezes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, if you really are, are the best player in the world, you want to get better, that's the book you read. But <laughs> that's not where I recommend you start. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Next, we move to defense, obvious. I, I, I um, when I was first learning, I, I bought a book by uh, Eddie Cantor. It was a giant red book, uh, kind of notebook size and, uh, and probably an inch and a half thick. And it was titled Eddie Cantor's uh, Bri uh, Bridge Defense Complete. Well, it's now been split into two. So there's an introduction to defense and, and uh, modern bridge defense. There's plenty of others, I, but I know Eddie Cantor has a great sense of humor and, and uh, he's easy to read. And defense hasn't changed that much either. So, so this is uh, not a bad place to start. Plenty of other books out there and I'll, I'll give you some ideas of how to find them at the end of this. Next, please. Bidding systems. Well, we all have learned how to play two over one. We've all, uh, you know, you learned kind of um, in lessons from Mark or, or, you know, you've gotten maybe the club series book or whatever Mark uses to teach. And that's fine. But if you want a more thorough introduction to two over one, there's plenty of those out there. Mike Lawrence in particular has a, a two over one work book that he wrote um, some years ago that allows you and your partner to go over all the possible uh areas of disagreement and you can check a box and say yeah here's here's the way we want to play this particular sequence um max hardy wrote a series of books that that were all different colors but they're all just titled uh, two over one and they've they got slightly more updated as they went along that's the system that i and all my friends have played for years um the other breeding system however besides two over one that you should 
really make an effort to learn a little bit about is precision because that, that's the strong club. You've probably run it up against it. Some clubs have as many as 30 or 40% of the players play it. Um, if your club has anybody playing it, you should at least read a book about it just to uh, kind of figure out how it works and, and why it might be right for you. Um, I started playing precision when I had about 20 master points and I really, and I played it for a whole summer and I really found it, um, it gave me a novel way to think about the game and act and improve my bidding thereafter simply because I had this insight into a different way to think about, about how to bid hands. Um, and precision, David Berkowitz is a fine author. You know, that would be one, one book to start. I don't have a specific recommendation on that, but uh, that's one idea. Next, please. Bidding judgment. This is where you can spend a lot of time. I think there's just um, so many nuances and facets to bidding judgment. Um, basically, any book by Mike Lawrence <laughs> is going to be good. If you go to his website, you just Google his name. He has 50 books on his website. I mean, 20 or 22, I think, are for sale on um, on the Baron Barclay website. I own. I personally own five of his books. Um, and let me just list them here. Uh, past hand bidding, dynamic defense, balancing, overcalls, and false cards. Those are just five of the books he's written. They're, they're very specific subjects, but he goes into them in, in great depth. And he's a, just a very talented, easy to follow writer. Um, just can't recommend enough any book by Mike Lawrence. Um, the other book I want to put in here is you'll hear the law of total tricks mentioned or also just called the law for short. Larry Cohen in 1992 wrote the excellent book titled To Bid or Not to Bid, The Law of Total <laughs> Tricks. This was a totally foreign concept to every bridge player out there who hadn't studied under him or, or Marty Bergen maybe or David Berkowitz who was Larry's longtime partner at the time. Uh, since then, it's widely followed. It's, it's just a Bible. Uh, if you buy one book, in fact, today, uh, after today's lesson, I would buy uh, this Larry Cohen book. Just it touches on a lot of facets and it just helps you in competitive bidding. After all, that's an area where we all uh, struggle. Should I, should I bid on after the opponent's balance? Should I, should I balance? Should I, <laughs> um, should I make a takeout double or an overcall? Um, should I preempt? How high should I raise partners preempt? Should I bid after the opponents are preempted? Um, all these things are answered in his book. It, um, it has a little bit of math in it, um, but I think it's a very understandable bid. It's, it's not a, a book for beginners, but it's a, a good book for intermediates to advanced. Um, just, just really superb stuff in there that you won't read anywhere else. I mean, at, the, at the time when it was written 30 years ago anyway, it was just something that was completely novel, never, never had seen it before. Um, next slide. All right, so this is my favorite slide. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you like humor, Jerry, we all do, right? Jerry Macklin, Turner at Bridge, an uncensored memoir. <laughs> He has a, a little bit of a PG to, to, to our rated sense of humor. He was a tournament director and just good stuff in there. Um, I'm not going to get into any details, but I, it's, it's kind of an esoteric, obscure book. I really enjoyed it. I did, I did own that. I, I also own Alan Sontag. He, he writes about a year or two in, in the mid-70s when he was, uh, he called himself a bridge bum. He was making money by hustling bridge, basically. And, and this is his his story of how he did that. <laughs> just great fun again, just an adventure. Uh, Victor Malo is something totally different. You may have heard of the characters like the hideous hog and the rueful rabbit and the secretary bird. Well, Victor Malo's the guy who invented all those characters and his original book uh, doesn't get any better than that. Uh, Bridge in the Menagerie just goes into all those. He has a bunch of stories that, that yeah, it's bridge related, but he, he tells about his, these characters. Um, I, my good friend Mike Selkert men, mentioned these next two. Uh, Matthew Granabetter wrote, wrote a couple of novels that featured Bridge as the central plot. Murder at the Bridge Table and I Shot My Bridge Partner. <laughs> Not that we would ever think to do that. But <laughs> no, never would, would do, do that, right. 
<laughs> you take them out but, to uh, dinner instead. <laughs> I, and I haven't read those personally, but uh, highly recommended by my friend. And then Eddie Cantor, uh, he wrote Bridge Humor, which is still to this day my favorite bridge book. It's just, I think it's called Classic Cantor now. Um, just can't recommend him enough. He just has a great sense of humor. He was a bridge teacher for many years and he tells stories from his classes. So maybe Mark would appreciate this one. Uh, next slide, I think we have to finish up here. Oh, all right. Oh, you have more in the humor and fiction section. Um, I, you know what, I carried this title through. That's what you oh, get for, okay. not, uh, for do, okay. doing it by a novice. This is my first effort at this. Um, overall top choice of books is Larry Cohen's Law, um, The Law of Total Tricks. Um, overall best author, Mike Lawrence, I mentioned him earlier. Um, and then where do you buy these bridge books? Well, Baron Barclay Bridge Supplies is where I've always gone. Um, they've had, got a really excellent selection. You know, it's going to be market, more targeted to a, an audience of bridge players rather than Amazon. And, and we used to have tournaments. Um, they would have, wouldn't they be set up there usually? At regionals and stuff was that 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 group of people or was it different was it baron barkley or was it a different group i know that there are other vendors other sellers of books okay. baron i don't know if i think they're big enough now that they don't bother to, they might come to nationals or something but uh, right. yeah they're pretty big they've been around for a while so one last slide i think oh, here right. conclusion <laughs> where to buy over oh that's there skip it i think we're done that's that oh, okay. was intended to be the title for that previous slide oh there you go yeah i um yeah i gotta tell you i, I haven't read a lot of mike lawrence but the insight is i, I don't know it, it's it's crazy good so if you haven't i would definitely i would definitely uh take take a uh, take a read um, yeah he is just he is just the overall he's yep. he everything he writes is good yep yep okay all right, guys. Well, there you go. So, it, you know, we'll report back at the end of the summer and we'll, you'll get a sticker for every book you finish. All right. And then, <laughs> all right. We'll see you. Thanks again, Mark. And uh, we'll get signed Thanks. up if you haven't. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks.